Hello, thank you for watching this video. I'm Jackie, and maybe you're a student of mine, or maybe you're simply uh, searching through, uh, just found this video randomly because it's about a sling bag, slam pack unboxing. So today I just received my uh, ball machine, the sling, the slinger, uh, the slinger tennis ball machine, and that's a slam pack version. And you will see it got lots of good stuff. Okay, I'm now opening the box. Let's see what I have. It's a huge one, very heavy about almost 30 pounds without the balls. So that's the flyer over here, just about what a slinger bat is. Sorry for not showing the whole thing, but it got warranty and got different modes to be played later. And then I'm going to look at what the slinger slinger bag is. You will see that it looks like more like a suitcase. Let's take a look. Well, let's see if I can really lift it. All right, let me know. Oh. The first one here, just before the suitcase, before the slinger bag. So this is the oscillator. So this is something for me to put uh, on top. Uh, actually, to put underneath the slinger bag. So that will actually oscillate only horizontally from left to right, right to left, randomly. So I can practice both my forehand and backhand. So that's the uh, oscillator. It, uh, it should, it's, it's only included in the slam pack, actually. If you buy the launcher version, you wouldn't include it. So that's the oscillator, and then it has a cable which has to be connected to the control panel of the slinger bag, the suitcase. All right, I'm referring to. All right, so that's the, let's see what else I need to unbox. Let's wait a bit. I think I'm just uh, unpacking the oscillator. I'm just, because actually, I, I think the overall, the thing, the, the company actually pack the equipment pretty well. So it's well protected when I receive the, uh, uh, the package and by the way the shipping is incredibly fast i actually order my slinger back the slam pack on a saturday evening and today is actually uh tuesday morning i just received uh the package of course i just finished my teaching work today it's now about uh 9 30 so in the evening so i'm just now unpacking anyway so now i'm going to lift the slam uh, pack Okay, you can see I can I could uh, lift it you know rather easily, so it's not too bad. But of course, once we put the balls in, we definitely need to take uh, advantage of the uh, the wheels at the bottom, so we can uh, uh, push it much more easily. Let's now take a look at what's really inside the suitcase or the slinger bag. And by the way, this is actually the twenty twenty two. Uh, version. So I'm currently in Toronto, Canada, and I believe at least in the U.S. and the Canada, we are actually uh, there. Uh, the company is at are uh, is actually shipping uh, the new edition uh, in your country. I'm not too sure, but anyway, at least in Canada and the in the U.S. Right. So that's the uh, handle. Feels pretty stable, pretty well made, good quality stuff, and that's the uh, just to move around. Okay, once I put in, put in the balls. I can also move around quite easily. So I can go to the court, I can book a court in my club, and I can start practicing. The top, oh, oh by the way, the background video is uh, are the uh, my two idols playing, competing in the Australian Open. It's Federer and also Nadal, right? That's maybe the best way to actually, uh, best background to show uh, when, when I'm uh, unpacking my uh, new tennis body. That's the ball tube. Actually, that's included also in the slam pack, but if you, order the basic one that wouldn't be included that's a ball tube <laughs> actually I, I think i'm just figuring out exactly how to uh do it you know i'm i didn't rehearse uh the, uh the unboxing have no idea how to use it but i can tell you that it's not too bad it should be quite easy for you to figure out maybe i was just, i was just a little bit dumb <laughs> when i was doing it let's take a look not that way oh is it that way okay let's see so basically, you just have to you know just make sure you kind of uh, connect the two parts of the uh, the ball tubes, uh, the right way, right? Okay, apparently that was the wrong way, and then that's the right way. Anyway, and then lock it, and that's the ball tube. Quite a long one, so I think that can hold at least maybe ten to fifteen balls, I guess. And then it has a carrier handle as well. And they also have a way you can either store the ball tubes once you discon uh, disconnect them. You can either uh, disconnect the two parts. You can either store the ball tube inside the suitcase, or they actually have a very nice uh, belt, you know, outside for you to uh, hook it. We'll see. What well, it's very spacious actually in that uh, in that particular pocket I just showed to you, and of course 
I, uh, okay, I, apparently I'm not putting the ball tube inside for now. All right, another pocket over here at the front. This is actually where the they call the hopper of the balls. So uh, usually uh, what they can hold up to, they claim, 144 balls inside. Uh, I purchased a box. You can see uh, there's a uh, brown box uh, to the right of the uh, slinger bag. That's something I will show to you later. But anyway, let's take a look. This is the uh, the pocket over here. I can put the ball tube. I can also put my tennis racket, but I still prefer my babalot, actually tennis uh, bag separately. I think uh, I will get my racket at some point soon. Oh, apparently I just went to get my uh, tennis uh, bag with my rackets. Not yet. I think I'll do that very soon. Anyway, so this front uh, pocket over here, so, of course, uh, very well designed uh, stuff. So once you open that uh, front door, you can actually attach it to the uh, to the side. Very nice thinking, but just for the first time, I, I wasn't so used to it. It would take a little bit longer, but it should be quite easy to do. And by the way, you might be wondering about how much this slinger bag is. I would say it's not cheap. However, I think uh, if I can really use it you know, on a regular basis, it will be worth my money and time for sure anyway i wouldn't mention about the price if you're interested just google around uh go to the slinger website and check their price i believe I, i'm now grabbing the my tennis racket okay am i or am i not let's see all right let's uh, take, okay so i just want to show you a little bit close up so that's the uh, control panel over here you can see in the middle that's where the boss will come out and also we got two uh, uh, actually two switches for you to actually, you know, adjust the the the, sp the frequency of feeding the ball and also the speed of the ball. Okay, anyway, on the side, so this is actually to adjust the angle. So the higher, uh, just to adjust the angle of shooting the ball. Okay, I think uh, later if you actually follow my channel, you will actually see our post, hopefully regular uh, videos every week uh, about my practice session. You will see how I use the slinger bag. Today is just a very initial uh, video to introduce my new body. And in the slam pack, they also include what I'm trying to get out now is the uh, camera holder, right? You can see one, I'm, uh, I'm showing that to you now. There's a camera holder. And let's try to get that camera holder out just in case you're curious. I still need to figure out exactly how to attach it to, well, basically you got to attach it to the handle of the suitcase. And I'm going to watch some YouTube video uh, to actually learn how to do it. It should, should not be too difficult, right? So that's uh, basically what the camera holder looks like. But I normally just use my tripod to actually put in some nice angle to film my practice or film my lesson or film my rally session. So I think uh, this might be useful. I'm not too sure how much I will use the uh, camera holder. Okay. Okay, now is the time for me to uh, get my rackets, my tennis racket. I got two. One is uh, what I got in the past April, just a few months ago. And then I also got one Babla. That's the uh, so-called Pure Arrow Plus racket, which Nadal used. And that one there, actually, I just bought it back in July. Okay, so these are the two rackets. The yellow one, the banana yellow one, is the Pure Arrow Plus. And the blue one is the Wilson. Anyway, so... Yeah, I can definitely uh, fit in, uh, they said, up to a few rackets, maybe at least three rackets into the pocket. But I think I will, I will still carry my usual uh, bag. But I can definitely also put a uh, ball tube. It doesn't seem like I can put, put the ball tube and also the racket at the same time in that pocket. So that's why I'm trying to attach the ball tube. Uh, let me get rid of the uh, tag first. I definitely don't need to return. So I, so far, I'm actually quite happy with the uh, the sling, uh, the slinger bag. It looks uh, just feels very elegant. And then I can attach the ball tube. Okay, apparently I'm still struggling with finding the the right hook. But there we go. All right. And then I can hook it at the top. And then the, at the bottom, there's also some nice uh, belt for me to lock it. Very nice. But it turns out maybe I don't necessarily actually want to hook it to the outside always. Maybe uh, when I uh, when I'm uh, transporting the uh, the the slinger bag from my home to the court or from my car to the court, maybe I'll still put the ball tube inside. Now I'm gonna load up the balls into the slinger bag. 
So I got one box of 120 uh, pressureless balls. So they I actually did some research. People said either you want to use a pressurized or pr uh, pressureless ball. So that's the pen pressureless ball. I got 10 bags. Each bag got 12 balls. But since the uh, slinger bag, they actually recommend we only uh, well, for optimal performance, we only load 70, 72 balls. So I will only unpack six bags of the balls for now. If later on I really find that I can add more, I'll add more. But let's say we start with 72 each time. All right, so I'm now just unpacking the bag. I will unpack six of them, okay? Yeah, sorry about the camera angle. You cannot really see the balls on the ground, but I'm gonna load them one by one. I just want to somehow open the bag one by one. I'll get six of them and I'll load the balls all at once. Yeah, so currently I'm taking uh, maybe uh, about two or three tennis lessons per week and I'm hoping that I can get regular practice sessions, uh, you know, just by myself with my tennis body, hopefully uh, one to two times, at least one time, but hopefully uh, two times will be very ideal. Three times if I can really make the time, that's really my hope. There we go. 12. Okay, we got the first 12 balls over there. I Apparently, I was just counting to make sure each bag really got 12. Okay, so far we got 12 balls inside the hopper. And so now we got the second bag. After that, I got 24. And third bag. And after this, I got 36. Meanwhile, Federer is really playing well in that game on the back row, which is good. And then fourth back, that'll be 48. Fifth back, that will make it 60. Actually, I'm gonna show you later at the end, but the hopper doesn't seem to be even full just yet. I believe that'll be the last back, that'll make it 72. But I still got another four bags to really make it 120. But I'll do that later. Because they recommend, you know, for the optimum, optimum performance, only uh, 72. I'll just follow the advice in the beginning. By the way, the slinger bag still need to be charged. <laughs> so after shooting this video, I'm currently charging my slinger bag. They said actually for no more than five hours to get it fully charged. But you can see it's about half full. So I think uh, uh, I can definitely fit in maybe 144 at some point. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And then hopefully you will still follow my video. And then I will see you in the later practice session.